What's up? Oh, fuck off, Joey. Now is not the time to be calling. I'm busy. Yo, what is going on, everybody? And welcome to episode two of the Heart Gold Randomized Nuzlocke. Uh, and we are at the top of Bellsprout Tower. We're about to go battle all these sages. Uh, and then we can go take on the gym. Also, we get flash up here as well, so that's cool. Uh, we've already got an encounter up here. It was a Pidgey in the last episode, and I murdered that in cold blood. So let's go and see what this uh, yoaf has got to say. Oh, shit. That's a nice necklace he's got. And he's got a Pachirisu. I should be able to absolutely annihilate. Nah, see, that's what I anticipated was by, which is why I didn't go for scratch straight away. I didn't want to do too much damage. If I hit it again with another absorb, then go for the scratch after it unleashes its energy. Now I should be able to scratch it to death. Yeah, look, there we go. I thought it was going to take two, but Pachirisu, you're an absolute cushion. Slash ten. Perfect. Next. Elder's TM lights in the darkest places. It's just going to give us flash. Not that we're going to need it, by the looks of it, because of how the screen's been glitching out. You can kind of see where you're walking during f in dark places for some reason. Right, Gallade is... Yeah, I'm not fighting you with this. Let's have a go with our Mogger. Come on, Mogger! And Gallade uses Double Team. We can... Easily do this with a Bide. I think. If he goes for it. It's a Gallade, it's got to have attacking moves. Go on, it moves some bit. Maybe, maybe. Oh. Okay, so Gallades are annoying. It's just setting up on me. I, I, I don't even know if it's going to attack. Oh, man. Okay, next. These battles are, are still so grindy. I still don't have anything that's like an absolute destroyer that's going to kill everything in, in, in its path. That's the problem. Uh, Lugia could have been that. Regirock could have been that. And now the question is, I don't have any very powerful moves, and even if I do, can I hit them anyway? Because those double teams are starting to stack up. Oh man. I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna go back in for slash. Maybe use a potion if he's just gonna keep double teaming. And then keep trying to hit it with the uh, scratch. Because that literally is probably the best thing I can do. Oh. So that puts us up to full health anyway, so that's good. Let's go for double team. At what point is its um, evasiveness just going to stop going up? Or does it ever? Will it just get to a point where it's practically invincible? I can do Harden or Leer, but... Well, Scratch it, so that's a good start. It goes for Leer. Lowers the defense. Oh, there we go. Well, at least we're hitting. One more of those. Maybe it's out of double teams, because it seems to just be leering me now. Oh, I missed that time. I see, so it does have moves. Bloody confusion. Doesn't do out, but... Now scratch missions. Now it's going to start going for the confusion. Set up with the double teams. Come on, we only hit it one more time, Slash. One more time. Before it actually confuses us with this move. Yes, get down. That is the end of Gallade. Should be some good experience for everyone for that. Cool. 
And Estabar goes down. So let's just check. I think we're all in good shape, really, so I should take this guy on. Let me see how much trust, how much you trust your Pokemon. I trust them. They're cool. They're good to me. Never done anything bad. Never said anything bad. You know. Sage Cami sent out Spearow. Now, yeah, I can stay. In, I think I can stay in against you. C dots a Grass type, so I don't want to put him out there. And then I've got Ground type that's not particularly effective anyway. So may as well stick in. Down goes Spearow. Experience Wooper. Uh, I'm saying we slash again because he's got absorbed, so that's going to take him down in one or two. I would have thought. We'll soon see. Arr. Super effective, and down in one, perfect. And it should heal us back, which means we should just be able to run straight into the um, Elder Sage or whatever he's called and just annihilate him. Yes, your trust is real. Cheers. And I can see Becca. I see ya. Just make sure none of my Pokemon need the healing touch. Yeah, we'll give Hannah just in case we need to send her out. And also, let's switch Hannah up front, and then we'll do some tra switch training with her. Right, let's see. See what Becca's got to say. You showed us what you've got, and it is indeed good. Take this technical machine. However, you should care more about your Pokemon. The way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. He calls himself the Elder, but he was no match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture how you should be nice to Pokemon, they cannot defeat me. All I care about are strong Pokemon. The rest of them don't mean anything to me. Yeah, Russian Becker. Well, that's cool. Let's go take this guy on. Uh, except I'm going to pick up this item first. Usually an escape rope, but it's randomised. So instead, it's a heal powder. Which is good, but it does mean we're going to have to run all the way out of this uh, building once we're done. Instead of just teleporting out with an escape rope. Old man voice. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Good for. Elder Pansy. The eldest of the... Oh my god, he's got a Deoxys. Oh my god, he got Deoxys. Uh, ooh, well, that is a predicament right there. Let's tackle him. Leers to lower the defense. <sighs> it's in attack form, though, so I don't think its defense is very good. Should we just sand attack it? Rap. Maybe it'll stop hitting me if I just stand attack it a couple of times. Now no, it's got the wrap on though, so it's going to hit me every turn anyway. But if it's, only, if it's going to use wrap, then it might be a good idea to get multiple out there and get bind on the job. Because I will certainly do more damage. Can't be switched out. Mm, someone's got an ability. No, it's the wrap. Of course it is. God damn. Keep me holding. And that rap's doing too much damage, so next move's a heal. Freed from the rap. Right, scrap the heal. Let's swap in with Mogswold. I can't believe this guy's got a Deoxys. Jesus. Good rap. Blah. I would have preferred it if you were doing this after I got my bide in, but cool. So let's bide. Keep wrapping me. Oh, now it misses. <coughs> oh my days. Wraps again. That's good. Free from the wrap. Unleashes energy. Oh, great. It's obviously not good HP. We'll bide again. That's it, that's it. We can do this. Sore energy. Hits me again. Doesn't hit, but I get hurt by the wrap again. And that should be enough, I think. Ugh. Oh my god. You are one grindy little shit. Okay. 
Now this is a risky buy because he, oh, he misses rap, so it's not a risky buy anymore. If he hits rap twice and I get hurt by rap twice, that would have been uh, possibly been the end, end of the game right there. For C dot, rap hits again. Free from the rap, that's going to be enough to finish the Oxys off. I just beat Deoxys with a motherfucking Mog's World C dot. Yes. And there's level seven. Hannah Bird's bite. Thank goodness. That's more move coverage. And Mog's World gets up to level 10 as well. And she is going to get a move. Go on. Get a move. Get a move. Oh, we're going to get another level. No, we don't get a move either. Happiny. Uh, that is what evolves into. Um, Clefairy. No. Not Clefairy, you fucking not. Oh my god, why can't I think of the name of that Pokemon? Chansey! There we go. It's what evolves into Chansey. By the way, I know I just accused myself of being a nonce, so I'm not a nonce. <laughs> right, so. Scratch. Could have leered to lower the defense a bit, but I think I could have just scratched through this thing. It's not got very high attack, so it's not going to do anything. And it's normal type moves and I'm a rock type, so they're not going to do anything. So, keep scratching it, it'll be never. I'm thinking if these Pokemon here, I mean, Jox is level 7, this guy's level 10. I'm guessing the gym's going to be at around 11 or 12, I would have thought. Although, of course, that could be completely wrong. Now, Flaffy, I am Rock Water, which makes me neutral. I've got Hannah that's ground type, if I really need to, but I think if I just stay in the Slash. I think getting Slash up as high level as I can right now may be the best option to uh, be in the gym, the best way to be the gym. Well, that, again, that depends what type in the gym has, though. You know, if it's got grass type, uh, then it's destroying me. Oh, that's super effective, even though I'm part rock. That's that's interesting. Didn't realise that. And down we go. Oh, the pansy. Ah, excellent. 1,200 for winning. Give me a TM, which is... Well, he says it's flash. However, TMs are randomised. But I, there is an option for field TMs like Dig and Flash to not be randomised. So it could be that um, it isn't randomised. Let's have a look. No, it actually is Flash. Okay. Well, that's cool. And we're going to have to run out of here because we didn't get the escape rope. It was randomised to a heal powder. There's that Pizzy I killed earlier back for Vengeance. So, two more stops. Pokemon Center. No, just one more stop. Pokemon Center. And then uh, we get out of here. Wait. I didn't battle this guy last episode. Let's get some experience from him as well. I sway like leaves in the wind. Good. Good lad. And we have Sage Webster with a Trico. Beautiful. Hannah, you are ground type. You are weak. Oh, to Trico. Stay in. Be risky with the bite. Ooh, everyone knows palm though, so that's cool. Bite it again, down it goes. We killed the Trico! Next is Wingle, which again you're weak against. So we'll go in with Slash. Who's got Absorb? So we can probably take that down in one. Down in one, down in one, down in one, down in one. Look at that spark. Oh no, it's going to take a couple. Fair news. Water one's not going to do out though, because I'm rock water, so. Cool. And absorb. Energy drain, down goes Wingle, Bish Bash Bosh. 40 XP, that's nothing. Beldum! Wow. Stay in. Golden's a steel type. I feel, um, is it steel psychic or steel? Like it might become steel, steel psychic eventually when it evolves. Oh, and it's got snow warning, so it's got a hailstorm up, which is going to hit it and me. So, really, I don't know if that was a, the best idea for Golden to do that. And it was takedown, so I'm glad I didn't put uh, 
glad I didn't put Mogsworld out there. Hail still falls. Buffeted by hail. Buffeted by hail. See, it's not really in your advantage to have this hail on Belden. And down goes Belden. Easy. Lots of experience for that, I hope. Yeah, fair bit. Level 13 before we get to the gym. That's pretty cool. And we beat, debeat, debeat, Sage Webster. Cool. And that's all of them. Let's get out of here. No, ah! That's what I hate about Pokemon games. Right, let's go back to the Pokemon Center. I'll meet you there. Okay, we've been back to the Pokemon Center. We've healed up. I'm going to swap my party around a little bit. Oh, I keep pressing that one button. Uh, let's see, so we've got Crown. I'm going to put Mog Mogsworld out first. No, I'm going to put Hannah out first. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. And go straight to the gym. Let's do it. that guy because I don't like him and I think we can get there without battling but I need to get some training done really and these tend to have good level Pokemon so we can get some good experience from them Faulkner I'm going to reach Faulkner Daniel that's just like the third Daniel I've battled this episode I swear common name so let's go for bite. We're slightly at lower level, but it's a fire type. I'm a ground type. If it does go for any fire type moves, it's not that scary. Leary lowering defense is a little bit scary, but hopefully we'll get a few full inches from these bites. That might sort us out. Ooh, lowering that defense made a difference. Wow. We'll go for one more move. See how. Okay, that's it. Defense is lower again. I'm not going to risk it. We'll hit this bite and swap out. A flinch would have been nice, but never mind. Uh, you're weak and you are resistant. So, let's have you back out there. Leah. Defense. That's not going to make any odds, though. And we'll finish you with scratch. I really want my uh, slash throw in water type move. Oh, Qualava has Aftermath. Good job I didn't stay in. So, Hannah gets some good experience. Slash gets some good 36 as well. Daniel Daniel the third goes down. Thank you, Daniel the third. Next. Oh, I've got to stop pressing that button. Let's chuck in a potion. By the way, before I battle the gym leader, I will go and get some more potions and heal up because I'm not an absolute crazy man. Yo, yo, you're some kind of big show. We'll see what happens if you get pushed around up here. Think you'll stagger and fall. People here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Bring it on! What I liked about Brian was my character actually said the lines back. Doesn't in these games. It's a shame. I liked, like, like, reading my character's dialogue back in the most sarcastic voice I possibly could. Quagsire is part water, part something else. I don't really remember. Might be ground. Let's just go for bite. Any flinches? Ooh! Quagsire steadfast raises its speed. So is that every time it gets attacked, it raises its speed? Well, mud sport, that's not going to do anything. Nobody's using electric moves. Bite's good. Tail whip. Lowers defense. Should be okay though. Oh, I don't know anymore. Water gun is super effective. If it don't kill this time, ooh, there's a question to be asked here. I'm gonna have to swap out. Mogswold can go in and save the day. I'll be there to save the day. Great singing. And you can go for Bide, soak a few waterfalls, knock it out, get some XP, everyone's happy. Obviously, not towards grass type, so these uh, water guns aren't going to do anything. But again. And down goes. Perfect. That's a level for Mog's world. Yeah, there we go. Learn something, Mog! Uh, 
Get him on top. Uh, fighting type. Does that do anything to grass? No? We stick him. We stick him. Let's just harden. Just to see what it hits us with. Before we commit to... Revenge. Oh, wow. No. No, no, no. I'm glad I uh, waited that out before going, going into guns blazing. Now, is Darker super effective against fighting? So I've got a bite on this uh, Hannah. Rolling kick. Oh, God, no. Oh, my God. This is not good. How do I beat this thing? Oh, that rolling kick is going to annihilate me. Oh, my God. I can't beat it. I can't beat it. There's no way I can beat it. It's going to do over half health every time I hit it. So I need it to stop using rolling kick. Oh, shit. How do I go about this? Hannah will not survive another one if I potion. Oh, this is a hard one. What do I do? I mean, I don't, I'm not sure I actually fully believe that this is going to work, but... Revenge. I better to use revenge, because I've not hit you. But it's super effective! Oh my god! What's the best thing to do right now? Let's go for Scratch. Oh my god! <sighs> Shit. I think this might be I think this might literally be the end. There's no way I can beat it! I haven't got enough healing items. Oh man. Well, uh, we're just gonna have to see what happens, aren't we? There's literally nothing I can do. It uses focus energy, which is going to increase its critical hit ratio, which is not good. Just hit me with something. Not rolling kick. Oh, no. Guess the critical as well. Well, this playthrough was very, very short. And that does nothing. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm actually dead. <sighs> See you all in the Pokemon Center. What's up? Oh, fuck off, Joey. Now is not the time to be calling. I'm busy. What's up, everyone? <laughs> um... So, it's it's not good. We lost. You saw we lost. Which means that I don't want to see mail. I don't want to see Lyra's mail. I'm not interested in that. What that means is that from this team that I had, I can keep one of the Pokemon. Uh, and I think it's... It's probably going to have to be uh, Kabutops. So here's the thing, that trainer that I lost to isn't isn't a battle that you have to do. So I can just walk past him and battle the gym leader, but if the gym leader has something similar, I've obviously proven that as far as fighting and I think revenge is a dark type move, as far as they go, I have zero coverage and I'm going to get absolutely annihilated. So, instead of that, let's buy some potions. There's five, that'll do. And a few... How many Pokeballs have I got in the bag? Yeah, we'll have a few Pokeballs as well. And let's go and get our next encounter. Because it might be something that I can grind a little bit and then bring back to the gym and absolutely smash the fuck out of the gym next time. So we're going to end this one when I get my next encounter, I think. Which is going to be... I think if we go south here, that's the fastest way. And if there's two routes down here, I might even try and get both. Yep, 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 yep. 
Uh, so, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Poker gear from map. That's where the map is in this one. Map. Ruins of Alf. So, are unknowns in there yet, or do I have to do a puzzle to get them to come out? I don't remember. Okay, Route 32. Crossed by the Magnet Chain Bridge. Union Cave. So there's Pokemon sitting outside Union Cave, I think. So maybe we'll go to Route 32. We'll see if we can get as far as Union Cave, and if we can get an encounter there, we will. However, I think they might keep, like push me back before then. I'd be like, "Oh, you've not beaten the gym leader from there, 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 there." So, might be one of them sort of things. Nothing in there. So. I mean, I know at some point that there are like unknown released into these halls. Therefore, there are encounters to be had. So let's see if just a little bit of running around. Oh yeah, there's an encounter. Okay, so this is an encounter. What we got? It's the Krabby. Beautiful. That's cool. I mean, it's not. It's kind of a bit shit, but. Oh, I'm probably going to kill it with Scratch again anyway. No, good. And it has Bubble. So, that covers me with some Water-type moves if I do get into a battle with Ground or Fire. And, yeah, let's throw a Pokeball. Come on, Krabby. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, because I, I, I promised um, I promised Mogswold that I would always have a Pokemon on the team that was nicknamed after her. So, this is going to be called... Oh, wait. Lower. That's it. Got it. This one's going to be called Mogo. But just with an A. And I'll maybe might have Mogo with an A-H later on in, in the playthrough. So, that's an encounter. So, that's decent. Oh, how many times am I going to do that this playthrough? <sighs> this guy, you're studying the ruins. I see a scientist in the making. I see a cunt. Right, so there's an encounter there. There, this guy's going to be like, No, where you go? We falconer. All that shit, so that's cool. So, scrap that then. Let's catch a Pokemon in this grass. And we get Clefairy. Having mentioned you earlier, that's not too bad, I suppose. The thing is, can I weaken it without... But that Absorb might actually be better. Scratch, I think it does less damage. Oh, yeah, a few of them. A few of them. Encore. Well, I'm going to be doing a few of them then, aren't I? Even if it creates some, I'm still in a good position. And this Clefairy... I mean, the problem is, if it doesn't know anything but Encore... Ah, it knows Pound. At least it's got some sort of offensive move. And now, for the Pokeball. Didn't even need to borrow the next Pokeballs. If this one stays in this one as well. Beautiful! Now I just need a Moonstone to make this thing useful. Add the data to the Pokedex. The moonlight that it stores in the wings on its back apparently gives it the ability to float in mid-air. Give a nickname to Clefairy. Yes. I'm going to call... Oh no, I've got a better one actually. How do I, how do I back? There we go. Wait, is it male? It's female. Cool. So, we are going to call it Wanda! Shout out to Butch Hartman. Fairly odd parents make a guy. He's funny. Well, that's it, I think. Let's go. Oh, there's a shortcut down there from Violet City. Who knew? Well, I mean, back to Pokemon Center. That's healing up. And then we'll go take on the gym in the next episode. Expect that I may have grinded my team up a little bit by then. Because I don't fancy taking these, this gym on with a level 5-6 on the team.
especially if it has something that's actually going to obliterate me, because uh, that won't be fun. So, yeah, I guess thank you very much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe if you enjoy anything I do on my channel, and I will see you all next time for the third episode, and we'll actually get that gym badge and not get smashed up this time. That would be cool. So, uh, thank you for watching. Peace. Oh, shit, that fucking microphone again. Thank you.